oh my god, I have some new decks, and I really want to share them with you, and kind of vlog them, and what I'm doing for my year ahead spread in my tarot journal. So welcome, my darklings, lightlings, and hybrids, and everybody else. This is my grimoire, and my little tarot journal. This is Floki, wanting to be close, so he's kind of interrupting my vlog. Hello, babies. <laughs> yeah, the corner down here is missing because Mr. Man here decided he wasn't happy that I had left him to go to the store. I put stickers from um, the Myths and Legends tarot. It came with it um, all through here. And uh, I really like this because it's got like, you can put the page number and what you're working on. Because I'm doing more than just tarot with this. I'm also doing my dreams and it's going to be like my grimoire for the year. I'm not going to go through all of it, but as you can see from my year ahead, 2023, I decided to kind of go deep. So I got God Energy of the Month, Goddess Energy of the Month, a rune for the Month. Um, star family message, oracle card, and a tarot card, and then my interpretations below for that month. Um, I'm also going to be adding the moon phases, crystals, and herbs best to work with for that month, uh, etc. I found it interesting that for this month I got Hades and Anubis at the same time for the god energy and Hecate for the goddess. <laughs> And, um, I mean, it's just, it's like, wow, definitely new beginnings and such. Excuse my torn pages there. Yeah. Pretend it's pretty. But I was up early last night because my Floki had to use the restroom. So as you can see, I did quite a bit of work and interpreting and reflections for the year. For the gods and goddesses energy, I use this deck and the goddess counterpart. Um, the I just mix them all together because uh, I work better with them that way. Just an example of how beautiful these cards are. I love them. They're stunning depictions. And then like a few of the goddesses. Look at that, isn't it stunning? For my runes of the month, I used this deck. Um, I really do like it. It's an oracle and it's just got the runes and like a little picture. But yeah, I'm not going to go through them all. Just uh, want to vlog about the decks I used for my year ahead spread. For the messages from like my ancestors or star family uh, for the months, I used uh, the Star Seed Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Um, beautiful messages, beautiful art. Um, show you one more just because I think this is so beautiful. New decks! Um, so for the oracle cards of the month, I use the Wandering Soul Oracle. I'm going to be doing a walkthrough on my channel of this soon. Um, it is a stunning deck. I absolutely love this. Um, it's got... Oh, I, I'll show you all that in the uh, walkthrough, but um, I just absolutely love this. The art, the messages... Um, absolutely beautiful excuse my psoriasis on my hands if any of you are wondering what that is um i have severe psoriasis and uh right now it's kind of out of control but yeah for the tarot of uh the month i use the iris tarot another stunning deck and another new one. I am so blessed. Um, that was the back. Um, I'm going to do a walkthrough of this soon. So I'm not going to show too many. But I mean this is just 
gorgeous. It's got like that rose uh, petal feeling. Gosh, it's gorgeous. I, I just love this one so friggin' much. So I showed you two of the decks already, the new ones I got. And uh, here are some other ones I'm really looking forward to working with uh, this year. Um, the Legendary Ladies, which I'll be doing walkthroughs of all of these on my channel soon. So that's why I'm not going to like go into too much like show and telling. But uh, just to give you like general ideas of the pretty cards. And uh, these were gifted to me. I am so freaking grateful. I love them so much. They are just amazing decks. And it's interesting because when I drew a card for the year, um, like just for my overall energy of the year, I got Inanna from this deck, which does not surprise me, seeing that um, I plan on doing a lot of sexual work, sexual healing, um, and not work as in like actually doing sex work, not that there is anything wrong with that, but... I mean like sexual magic and like uh, sexual healing, um, going deep within my sexuality, etc. <laughs> but this is the Oracle of Delphi, I'm sorry, uh, Delphi Oracle. And these are amazing cards. I just, I love artwork like this, like kind of historical historical depictions of like pagan art and such it's just it's amazing right so I'll do a walkthrough of these here soon and then the last one which is perfect for the year along with my Casanova deck if you haven't seen that check that walkthrough out um it's sexually explicit but um this one the abyssal tarot I believe this is a indie deck and it is absolutely stunning with visuals taken underwater. At first I thought it was like AI art or something um, just by the way it looked but no it is um, art that a photographer took photos under the water and it's got this like sexual or sensual element to a lot of the cards and uh I'm just a mess here guys I really love it I mean it is just stunning to me and I've always loved underwater photography I find it gorgeous and what's interesting about the backs is at first glance they look like ugly as hell but then you realize it's the elements and it kind of cheats and tells you uh, what elements and such. Uh, sorry about the focus. Focus camera. It kind of tells you what elements and such you're working with. It's got keywords on the sides there. And uh, so that's Queen of Pentacles, right? So the uh, pentacle there will be the biggest square and then the next elements like it uh, tells you what elements are most prominent in the cards if that makes sense so yeah I'm really looking forward to working with these what decks are you looking forward to working with this year let me know I hope you enjoyed my little vlog for my year ahead spread <laughs> and uh, yeah so let me know if you did a year ahead spread had to pause because Floki there assaulting me with kisses. I love them. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. And uh, did you do a year ahead spread? And comment what it is you want to work on this year um, within yourself and using the tarot. For me, it is definitely going to be um, probably a lot more shadow work for healing and traumas and exploring my sexuality more so yeah much love